welcome back it's Christine again with the artist pod and today we're gonna be talking about how to draw rabbit eyes so let's get arting all right so rabbit eyes are off to the side so we're gonna start a new layer they are typically brown this um, we're designing an eastern cottontail rabbit and their eyes are brown so we're gonna come in here and choose that's not bad now they're typically darker than this but because I print on a light shirt I trimmed a little lighter. Now, I mentioned on the other rabbit video that when I do the ears, I like it coming down behind the eyes a bit, especially when the eyes are on the side. It helps even more when the animal doesn't have, um, when you can't see the coloration to their eyes. So rabbits we can, um, and the coloration will help define the shape, but sometimes you really need some other um, hair in the background to help um, sort of sort out the shape of the eyes. So. You know, the eyes are going to be coming down here and then kind of up, right? So we need to make sure we have, they tend to be pretty rounded. That's why I'm coming out so far. Now we're going to try and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, now I do always come in and I make sure makes sense so now we're going to come in here and add the highlights light sources from this right side here right and then from over here so that is where we're going to start and just like always i'm going to have that burst of light on this inside on the opposite side of the light source because the pupil will catch that light this would catch all the way underneath before it starts feathering out. And I also leave the edges and the tops. So the top, you know, I don't often draw that in because that's where it's going into shadow. As I feather it, I also have to feather out that, that burst of light, right? So I don't want that to be too jarring, so I'll feather that out too. The opposite side of the pupil, the side that is actually on the side of the light source, I tend to feather this in as well. So there'll be a little bit of a shadow as it gets close to that circle, and then the opposite side's catching it. There's one side. All right. So I'm also going to come in here. I know I don't do this very often, but I'm going to give it an extra burst of light. I'm going to change it to a more yellowish, orangish kind of color, just on that inside. Okay, yeah, that catches nicely. And now I'm going to add a little eye flare. When I'm adding the eye flare, particularly on an animal like this where um, you have only partial um, of the eye on this side in view. I'm going to start with the um, eye that's furthest away. And I may end up trimming some of it down. We'll see. And then I'm going to make sure I'm on the right layer because there's been so many times where I've messed that up. And we're just going to fill it. And we're going to fill it with the foreground color, which is that off white. And we're going to come around to this side, keep it roughly the same height, and do the same thing. So now we're going to come in. Because his eyes are on opposite sides, you might not be able to see the sort of highlight that you get here, but um, as an artist, sometimes you've got to trick the system for it to look right. So I'm just going to follow the edge of the eye here. And I'm going to copy this because I'm ridiculous and I copy everything before I undo something and I'm going to just erase out part of it to make that one noticeably smaller and yeah I think that looks better and then I'm actually going to come in let's see I'm going to add a little bit more to this side it looks very jarring this way and I don't want it to I want to make sure it's blended nicely and while this side would be in shadow is coming off as a bit excessive. So we're just going to lighten it up just a little bit. Still has a noticeable shadow, but it's not quite as noticeable, right? Like it tempers that off. 
All right, so that is how you draw a rabbit's eyes. I hope that was helpful. In the floating nether next to me, I have other videos of art tutorials I've done. So I will see you all soon. Thank you so much. Take care.